How did ancient Sri Lankans design water systems that could withstand floods, earthquakes, and centuries of wear? The answer lies in engineering genius few civilizations could match. Sri Lanka's ancient engineers perfected a method called bisokotua, or a valve pit system, which controlled the flow of water from reservoirs to canals. A simple yet brilliant design prevented dams from overflowing and reduced erosion, a technique that modern engineers still study today. The canals themselves were carefully graded to maintain consistent flow, relying purely on gravity. Ancient surveyors used observation, geometry, and trial and error to ensure water reached the farthest fields. Monks and scholars often oversaw construction, documenting methods and designs. Temples became centers not just of spirituality, but also hydraulic knowledge, passing engineering skills from generation to generation. Even more astonishing is the longevity of these structures. Many tanks and canals still function today, feeding modern rice paddies and sustaining communities just as they did a thousand years ago. In a world where ancient infrastructure often crumbles, Sri Lanka's water systems are living proof of durability and foresight. In part three, we'll see how these ancient systems impact modern Sri Lanka and why they hold lessons for water management in a world facing climate change.